from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. After the cattle are all worked and branded and all the selling cattle are put out in the fall, we used to have a barbecue and a rodeo and invite all the neighbors and the people in the valley and people around the northern part of the state. We barbecued the beef in the ground there, which is an old Spanish way to do it. Well, my dad had a secret barbecue recipe or for sauce. I don't know what was in it. And of course, we never rubbed anything on the meat when we cooked it. We always had the sauce there put on the meat after it as you ate it. Well, we started out with just about 15 or 20 cowboys that we invited, and they brought their families. And then the next year, people heard about it. A few more wanted to come, so we quit making it invitational fare, just threw it open. Naturally, there's more people came, and the thing spread by word of mouth. And then there's people started coming from Jordan Valley and Denio and Lovelock and Battle Mountain. Then the reservation heard about it. 99% of the Indians came over. And it finally got to the point we was using 200 head of stock to put the rodeo on. It just got to the point we couldn't do it anymore, so we gave up on it. This is signing up for the ro uh, rodeo events. We have the rodeo right out in our corral where we work a lot of our cattle. It's not fancy or sophisticated. It's just old ranch stuff. Uh, since then, we have had a few little ropings here, but we've limited them just to residents of the valley. Well, this is hard to really talk about. You get on there and you know how to stay on or you don't. Riding bucking horses and cows, they say that uh, that's myself and Pete Petroli. Pete thought I was going to get bucked off, so he kind of helped a little by holding her down. Say to learn to ride a bucking horse, first you have to know how to stay on them, but you can't stay on them till you learn to ride them. That's my dad and I and a little horse we call Rabbit. It's calf roping. In ribbon roping is a team event. Uh, each roper has a girl and the roper, he ropes the calf and there's a ribbon tied on the tail. The girl runs off out and takes a ribbon off the calf's tail, brings it back to the judge. Sometimes the calf don't want to stand still to get the ribbon taken off. The rules of this, the roper can mug or he don't have to mug. Mug means to hold the calf. Some of the less chivalrous fellas, they don't get off and hold the calf. They just sit on the horse and let the girl chase him. That's myself and a lady from Reno. This is Jane Angus here. In the wild cow milking, you turn out a wild range cow, and Roper goes out and ropes the cow. Fella calls the mugger. He runs up and grabs the cow by the head and holds her while the Roper gets off and milks the cow in a pop bottle. Cows, they don't go much on that being milk thing. They don't cooperate worth a darn. That's one reason people like this, you know. Uh, a professional rodeo unless you're really a rodeo fan or a contestant and I've got this way boy you see one bucking horse and unless you really know the difference between a good bucking horse and a poor bucking horse and a good rider and a poor rider you've seen one you don't see much difference in them there is a lot of difference you know if you can really tell but that's why people like this we had so many of these novelty events there's the mugger going in after the cow This is a calf roping. No one down at 
that is classy or as fancy or as fast as a professional rodeo cowboys here, but they probably had a lot more fun. Oh, he was a local cowboy here, a roper. I don't know really why I put a title on uh, him alone. He was probably a little better than the rest of us, although he didn't show much in that picture. This is the cutting horse contest where you cut an animal out of the herd and uh, work him to show how your horse works. This is a contest to show who has the best trained and the best reined horse. Cow horses are specialists too. We have some we call our cutting horses, our parting horses. Use them to uh, cut the herd, cattle out of the herd with. They're the specialized horses and the most highly trained. Some of them we call the circle horses. Those are the ones we ride in the mountains. They don't have to know anything in particular except how to go straight ahead and stop before they fall over the rim rock with you. We gave a little buckle to the fellow that accumulated the most points in the contest. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.